I've always been in the cars ever since I could remember. It's just like when I was little, I just like would see them around. I think the first thing I ever saw was just a blue tricked out Lamborghini Gallardo. And that just from there on out just spawned. I was like, it just, it was kind of in me that cars are just always so cool. And I just wanted to chase after them and try and spot the coolest ones. And they gave me so much energy. So it's the, it's one of the few passions that I could say that I've only gotten more into ever since I've grown up rather than gotten bored of or strayed away from. What's going on? My name's Jack. I run the YouTube channel Jack Ultramotive and I'm here from Seattle, Washington. This is my 2011 Audi R8 V10. I basically do YouTube full time right now. I was Before I was juggling it between school and YouTube, but right now I'm, I'm fully on the game on YouTube and I'm just trying to crank out gaming videos as well as vlogs at the same time and just trying to produce anything automotive related uh, at its best. Probably the coolest positive memory with this car was out for SEMA, rolling through the SEMA parade. That was something that I never thought I would ever be able to do in my lifetime and to be able to just cruise this through and just rev bomb and just see it, all the crowds all around and stuff. Being in a literal parade with your car is definitely something that one would never expect to do. But for negatives, I would say when we were out there in Nevada desert, we did a little speed run a little too quickly and we completely lost the previous front lip that was on the car. And that was a really bad day. So there's positive and negatives out there. Uh, on my free time, I'll usually just hang out with car buddies and car friends and we'll just go on cruises and stuff and just chill. We'll usually end up at a Red Robin usually by the end of the night and it's just kind of like hang out stuff like that. That's what I just love doing these days. From time to time, we'll host our own meets and cruises. So we try and bring the community together. And one of the things I really try and do is I try and not be picky on what cars I hang out with or what cars I put in my videos or what cars I like. This car is probably half the price as your you know average Lamborghini these days. So, and obviously, I bought it used um, and it all just came down to it was one of the most affordable supercars in that range that checked off most of the boxes that I really wanted to enter that world into exotics having a mid-engine car 10 cylinders all of that stuff so it really just kind of fit right in and that's kind of why I went for it. When I picked up this car it was pretty much stock and then I reached out to Airlift and um, as, as soon as I realized that they would be on board, I was like, I definitely wanted to do this. I've always dreamed of having a car on air suspension because I would see it at shows and whatnot. I knew it was really expensive and it was a lot to do, but it's so satisfying to see them when they air out and fully slammed on the ground. And it seems so spoiling that they could roll around, air it up and not have to worry about hitting anything and whatnot. So it's always been a dream and I never thought that this would be my first air ride car. But yeah, I, as soon as I realized that I was going to do a build project for SEMA, I definitely knew I wanted them on board for it to kind of help give it some more wow factor. Almost all cars are cool and you don't need to really be, you don't really need to judge people for specific ones and anyone can, as long as they drive anything that they're passionate about, you know, we could all be friends together and all be unified.